Here we have a laptop that came in for repair. It came in for no power. And to be honest, I have not worked on this brand laptop before. Customer mailed over two laptops. One of them came in for no power, and the other one came in for a missing charging connector. The brand name is Electronics UK instead of Electronics, and the model number is Mac or Mesh-17. So where do we start? The first thing I want to do is look at the charging connector, which is right here, and locate the power MOSFETs. We have one, two, three, three power MOSFETs. We have the GPU, the VRM chips, and we have the CPU on the side here. Board looks clean. Our V-core circuit right here. And why not start by measuring the drain on those MOSFETs? Just to see if we have a short circuit. Very common on Asus laptops and a lot of other laptops. Okay, let's start by measuring here. We have 1.1 voltage drop. And if we measure the drain here, and we have a short circuit. Look at this. We have a 1.2 here. We have a short circuit right over here. So 30 seconds in, and we already know that we have a short circuit. But where is the short circuit coming from? Usually on Asus laptops, if we have a short circuit at the drain of the DC power MOSFET, it's usually a V-core circuit issue. I do not know what type of chips are being used here, if in fact the problem is a V-core issue. But right now, the only way to know is to inject voltage right at this point, And then we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. And then we can pinpoint where the short is coming from. Right, so let me set the end of that short voltage injection tool to about 1.5 volts. We're going to connect the ground probe. to the screw hole area or USB connector. We're going to connect our ground probe. You can connect it to any one of the screw hole areas. Let's go under the thermal camera. And we're going to inject voltage at the drain of the MOSFET, which is right over here. And I see an amp draw of about 0 0.2 amps. Anything getting hot on the board? Anything? Oh, wait a minute. I see something hot right over here. Let me inject voltage again. See? Look at this. Bright as daylight. So what's here? What is here? All right, so an inductor is not going to short out. What can short out is this some type of power chip. I do not know what that chip is. FEN018. I'll try to look it up and see if we can find any information, but we do not know if the short is really coming from this chip or not. The heat spot was from this inductor here. I do see some capacitors around. Maybe we have a short circuit on one of the capacitors. That's possible. Let's measure a short to ground on this guy right here. We have 1.2 reading. We have 1.3 reading. 1.2 reading. And we have 2.3 reading. So none of them are shorting to ground. Right now what we can do is remove the chip and see if that will release the short. If yes, then that's the problem. We will need to figure out what that chip is. I most definitely do not have that chip in the shop here, unless that chip is found on any one of the laptops that we have in the shop, any one of the donor laptops, but I don't know. 
We cannot just open up every donor laptop and start looking for that chip. So we need to know what that chip is, if in fact that chip is the problem. You see I have that shield right here. Look at the RAM slot, the plastic. We're going to cover it. If we go all the way here, and we measure meter and diode mode, and do we still have a short? And the answer is, we do not have a short anymore. <laughs> we got it. We got it. So the short is gone. The short is gone. The question is, where do we get that chip from? What is that chip? Let me quickly search for FN, right? It's FN or FFN. I doubt we're going to find any information using the FFN code. So we know that we have a shortcut on a shortcut. So, <laughs> so we know that we have a short circuit on the FFN chip. I looked up FFN, I see FFN chip 018 a combination of everything and I'm not able to locate that chip. If any one of you know what that chip is, let me know, leave it down in the comments. We'll order it, solder it back on the board and hopefully we have a working laptop. For the time being, I'm gonna put this on the side. I'll do more research on that chip. Hopefully we can find it. So we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.